In this video, we are going to solve the problem if a equals to square root of 1 by 2 plus root 6 by 5 then find the value of 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 4 divided by 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 8 plus 1. Let's consider this value is equals to u and we have to find the value of u. We can simplify u by flipping this equation and separating these two terms. This gives us 1 divided by u equals to 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 8 plus 1 divided by 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 4. Now, separating these two values gives us 1 divided by u equals to 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 8 divided by 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 4 plus 1 divided by 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 4. Now 10,000 and 10,000 will cancel out to give a to the power of 8 divided by a to the power of 4. So this gives us 1 divided by u equals to a to the power of 8 minus 4 because according to the law of exponent a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Here m is equal to 8 and n is equal to 4. So this is equal to a to the power of 8 minus 4 plus 1 divided by 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 4. Now this gives us 1 divided by u equals to a to the power of 8 minus 4 is a to the power of 4. a to the power of 4 plus 1 divided by 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 4. We are given a equals to square root of 1 by 2 plus square root of 6 divided by 5. We can easily find the value of a square by taking square of both sides. So this gives us a square equals to 1 divided by 2 plus root 6 by 5 to the power of square root is 1 by 2 multiplied by 2. Now 2 and 1 by 2 will cancel out to give a square equals to 1 by 2 plus root 6 divided by 5. Now flipping the above equation gives us 1 divided by a square equals to 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus square root 6 divided by 5. This is 1 by a square value. Now this is in the form of a plus b where a is equals to 1 by 2 and b is equals to square root 6 divided by 5. We can convert the denominator in the form of a plus b multiplied by a minus b by multiplying both sides by 1 by 2 minus root 6 by 5. Now the denominator is in the form of a plus b multiplied by a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square. Now putting the formula of a 
a plus b multiplied by a minus b equals to a square minus b square gives us 1 divided by a square equals to in the numerator we have 1 by 2 minus root 6 by 5 and in the denominator we have a square minus b square so a square is 1 by 2 square minus b square is root 6 divided by 5 square so this gives us 1 by 2 minus root 6 divided by 5 divided by 1 by 2 square is 1 divided by 4 minus root 6 square is 6 divided by 5 square is 25 now in the denominator we have two different fractions the LCM value of the two denominators 4 and 25 is 4 multiplied by 25 which is equals to 100 this is our LCM value this gives us 1 divided by a square equals to 1 by 2 minus root 6 divided by 5 divided by our LCM value is 100 since the LCM value is multiplication of both the denominators we can find the numerator just by cross multiplying 1 and 25 and 4 and 6 so this gives us 1 multiplied by 25 minus 4 multiplied by 6 so this gives us 1 by 2 minus square root 6 divided by 5 divided by 1 multiplied by 25 is 25 minus 4 multiplied by 6 is 24 divided by 100 so this gives us 1 divided by a square equals to 1 by 2 minus square root 6 by 5 divided by 25 minus 24 is 1 divided by 100 so this gives us 1 divided by a square equals to 1 by 2 minus root 6 divided by 5 divided by 1 25 minus 24 is 1 divided by 100 now multiplying both sides by 1 divided by 100 gives us 1 divided by 100 in the numerator and denominator will cancel out to give 1 divided by a square multiplied by 1 divided by 100 equals to 1 by 2 minus root 6 divided by 5 or we can write 1 divided by 100 a square equals to 1 by 2 minus root 6 divided by 5 and previously we have found a square equals to 1 by 2 plus root 6 divided by 5 so this gives us a square plus 1 divided by 100 multiplied by a square equals to 1 by 2 plus root 6 by 5 this is our a square value plus 1 by 2 minus root 6 divided by 5 this is our minus sorry this is our 1 divided by 100 a square value so this is a square 
and this is 1 divided by 100 a square. Now plus root 6 by 5 and minus root 6 by 5 will cancel out to give a square plus 1 divided by 100 multiplied by a square equals to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equals to 1. Since we have to find a fourth and 1 divided by a fourth we have to take square of both sides. So taking square of both sides gives us a square plus 1 divided by 100 a square to whole square equals to 1 square which is 1. Now putting the formula of a plus b whole square which is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab where a is equals to a square and b is equals to 1 divided by 100 a square. So this gives us a square is a square to the whole square plus b square is 1 divided by 100 a square to the whole square plus 2 multiplied by a is a square multiplied by b is 1 divided by 100 a square. This is equals to 1. So this gives us a square to the whole square is a fourth plus 1 divided by 100 a square to the whole square is 10,000 because 100 square is 10,000 multiplied by a square to the whole square plus now a square in the numerator and denominator will cancel out to give 2 divided by 100 equals to 1. So this gives us a to the power of 4 plus 1 divided by 10,000 multiplied by a square to the whole square is a to the power of 4 because 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 plus 2 divided by 100 is equals to 1. Now subtracting both sides by 2 divided by 100 will cancel out plus 2 divided by 100 and minus 2 divided by 100 on the left side to give a to the power of 4 plus 1 divided by 10,000 multiplied by a to the power of 4 equals to 1 minus 2 divided by 100. Previously we have found 1 upon u equals to a to the power of 4 plus 1 divided by 1000 multiplied by a to the power of 4. Hence, this is our 1 upon u value. This is equals to 1 upon u. So this gives us 1 upon u equals to 1 minus 2 divided by 100. Here we have 1 divided by 1. The LCM of 1 and 100 is 1 multiplied by 100 which is 100. Hence this gives us 100 in the denominator and we will cross multiply these values to get the numerator because the LCM is multiplication of both the denominators. Hence we have 
1 multiplied by 100 minus 2 multiplied by 1 in the numerator which is equals to 100 minus 2 100 minus 2 divided by 100 so this gives us 1 upon u equals to 100 minus 2 is 98 divided by 100 now flipping this equation gives us u equals to 100 divided by 98 so this is our answer 100 upon 98